Hello everyone, this is Dr. Fatima Qureshi and today I have a patient here who's given his consent for this video. Today we're talking about a very common condition which is known as strabismus, okay? So strabismus is an eye turn and a lot of times patients are born with that. For instance, in his case, you were born with an eye turn, right? Correct. So there are different types of eye turns. I'm just going to go through the main types. There's exotropia, which means the eyeball or the eye turns out, which is the case in this situation. Then there's another one which is known as esotropia. So exotropia means the eye eyeball turns outwards. Esotropia means it turns inwards. Then there's vertical uh, strabismus also. So these are all eye turns because of the muscles in the eyes, okay? A lot of times there's surgery that can be done. For instance, in your case, how many surgeries did you get done? Two surgeries. And how old were you? I think it was five and six. Okay, so that's a pediatric condition, right? So a lot of times strabismus is corrected during, um, in the childhood years. So maybe when he's uh, less than nine years, a lot of times uh, doctors do recommend mm -hmm. that and surgeons do that. So if you can come closer and focus on him, he has a very classic exotropia. So if you, if you look at his eyes with the glasses on, they're aligned. But then when I do the cover uncover test, look at that. You see that cover? Uncover. You see that little eye turn right there? It's moving out this one, the right eye. He does have an exotropia more pronounced in the right eye than the left eye. You see that? It goes back to the center, but when I move it, or when it's covered, you see the eyeball turns out. And he also has another condition which is known as nystagmus, which is the jerky movement of the eyes, and you've had that um, as a child also. Yes, that's Now, if you it. keep looking at him, you will notice his eye turns out, the right eye. Do you see that? Now take off your glasses, we're gonna show you the difference, how the exotropia meaning, outward movement of the eye. So keep looking. He's focusing on a target at near. See that eye going out? And there you go. And then we can relax his eyes and move it a little bit back. And you see the eye turn also. If you relax your eyes, you can see it more. And that's known as exotropia. We have prisms with which we monitor the exotropia. And then we can tell you what is the different types of prisms that we use, but it's going to be too detailed and too technical. But I can tell you it's about 15 to 20 prism diopters exotropia that we've been monitoring. And this eye turns more. You see it now? You see this one turning out more than the left eye. So this is his right eye, this is the left eye. You see the eyeball turning out more on this side. A lot of times if this uh, surgery is not done for the movement or the muscles of the eyes, we recommend prisms also. In his case, he does not have double vision because if he has double vision, which is known as diplopia, then definitely we would have given you prisms and they can help you in making the vision single or one, but you don't have the problem of double vision. Mm -hmm. He only has exotropia, which you can see, which is outward movement of the eye. He had two surgeries and we're monitoring him for that. And he has really high myopia also. Okay, so that was all about strabismus. Do you want to say anything? No. Nope. You good? That's it. <laughs> Very good. Take care. Bye bye.